The midterm elections just one week away. Our correspondents are on the ground in three battleground states likely to determine control of the Senate. Eva Pilgrim starts us off in Philadelphia. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. Pennsylvania is shaping up to be an important test when it comes to blue collar voters for both parties here in President Biden's birth state. Now, the race everyone is watching, the Senate seat, current Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman versus TV Dr. Mehmet Oz. Polls really tightening since last week's debate. There are concerns over Fetterman's health after a stroke more than five months ago. It could cost Democrats the seat pickup here. But at the same time, Dr. Oz facing criticism for being an out of touch carpet bag as well as for his stance on abortion. And just to make it clear how important this race is, President Biden and former President Obama will both be here in Pennsylvania over the weekend trying to get out the vote. Michael. All right, thank you, Eva. I'm going to head west now to Nevada, where the Senate race is neck and neck. Janae Norman is in Las Vegas for us this morning. Good morning, Janae. Hey, Michael, good morning. This is a state that's historically shown up big for Democrats, but it's not guaranteed to go blue next week. Republicans find themselves in the best position here in Nevada in years. Senator Catherine Cortez Masso, the first and only Latina senator, is also the most vulnerable. Polling showing her essentially neck and neck with her opponent, Republican Adam Laxalt, a former attorney general who backed President Trump and uh, efforts to overturn the 2020 election results here in Nevada. His family has actually actually come out supporting Cortez Masto, but in a state hit especially hard by the pandemic. Democrats have a tough sell to voters who are paying about $5 for a gallon of gas and facing skyrocketing rent prices. Former President Obama will, will be rallying here tonight, hoping to shore up some support as control of the Senate hangs in the balance. Amy. All right, Janae, thank you so much. And the battle for control of the Senate could once again come down to the state of Georgia. Steve Osinsami is in Atlanta with the latest on that. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Amy. Some of the latest polling out this week shows a virtual tie between incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican nominee and college football legend Herschel Walker. And this is despite weeks of bad press for Herschel Walker, who's essentially been called a hypocrite for his stance on opposing abortion rights after woman after woman keeps coming forward claiming that he either helped them pay for an abortion or actually helped them get one. There is a third candidate in this race, a libertarian candidate, and that means it is entirely possible that neither of the two major candidates gets to 50 percent a week from today, which means this race could be headed to a runoff. If control of the U.S. Senate is decided by a runoff race here in Georgia, it will be a busy four weeks of dirty mudslinging for voters here who have already had enough. George. And we have seen that before. Okay, Steve, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.